Is there a single issue Keir Starmer hasn't changed his views on? You can send your answers in on a postcard. I'd be interested if you've managed to find one. Meanwhile, here's one more flip-flop to add to that ever-extending list. It concerns Shamima Begum. This is what Keir Starmer said in 2019 after Sajid Javid stripped her of her citizenship. I think the decision was by the Home Secretary was the wrong decision, and I think it was a rushed decision. Um, and I think it left out of account the interests of the newly born child who's tragically died. I think the Home Secretary also should have really looked at what powers were available to him to deal with the case if it came back. Our terrorism acts are very wide ranging now. So if you commit an offence in another country, you can be prosecuted back here in the United Kingdom. And I've done many of those cases. Alternatively, if there's not enough evidence, if she came back and there wasn't enough evidence to prosecute, you can also have a prevention order, which is where you can't prosecute, but you think measures are necessary. So, Because at the I same time, the... a lot of people have escaped prosecution, haven't they, who've gone to Syria and come back. It's been difficult to prosecute. Well, they need to be assessed when they come back. Security and intelligence forces can do that, and they do do that, and they're very good at it. If there are offences, the mere fact that it was abroad makes no difference. You can be prosecuted here. But as I say, if on analysis it was found there wasn't enough evidence, Um, the Home Secretary could then have said, well, what about a prevention order which limits uh, what an individual can do back in this country? So actually, had the interest of the child been taken properly into account, I think um, we would see that this was a wrong decision and a rushed decision by the Home Secretary. Another former Director of Public Prosecutions, Lord MacDonald, uh, has spoken to the Observer this morning. We can have a look at something that he said about that decision. Uh, Mr Javid's behaviour is a recipe for refugee chaos and moral cowardice of the worst sort. Is he right? Well, he's got a... You know, Ken did a lot of cases, as I did, under the Terrorism Act. He knows exactly what can be done back here. I think uh, what he says is, is right. I think, actually, the Home Secretary needs to come to Parliament tomorrow, make a statement on this and face questions. I think that's the right thing to do in the circumstances as they now are, because I think there is a growing feeling that this decision wasn't properly made, um, and the tragic consequences are now that a newborn child has died. So that was pretty clear. Keir Starmer said stripping Shamima Begum of her citizenship was the, quote, wrong decision. Now let's fast forward to now. I want to ask you about Shamima Begum. In 2019, you said stripping her of her British citizenship was the wrong decision. She's lost her appeal to regain it. Should she be allowed to appeal again? Should she be allowed back here in order to face justice in the UK? I think the court decision yesterday is the right decision. Obviously, the court has looked at all of the information, got all the evidence not only that was available at the time, but all the evidence that's available since then, national security has to come first. The court's reached its decision. It's looked at all the evidence. I support that um, decision. And as I say, you know, national security has to come first. So that is a complete 180. And I think also what was, I think, pretty shocking, actually, about that second interview from Keir Starmer is he's justifying his U-turn by essentially completely misrepresenting what happened in that court case. So we discussed that on on yesterday's show. And what the judge decided in that case was to say, actually, there is good reason to think that Shamima Begum was potentially trafficked. There is good reason to think that potentially she could have been brought back to the UK without causing a national security threat. But we as a court recognise that in the law, it is up to the Home Secretary to make that decision. So the court hasn't looked at all the evidence and decided the Home Secretary was right. Absolutely not. They've looked at the law and suggested the Home Secretary has the power to make that judgment. So it doesn't concern at all um, whether or not she should be brought back. So Keir Starmer is now using and misrepresenting a judgment to say, nope, I stand up for for the judges and the judges have said she must stay in Syria. Now, the judges have not said that. The judges haven't looked at all the, the information, all the evidence, and said she should stay in Syria. Actually, they've looked at all the evidence and said, to be honest, um, from our perspective, it looks as if potentially she could have been brought back to the UK, but it's not for us to determine. Um, this is the reserved right of, of the Home Secretary. Now, if Starmer is serious about government, he is soon going to be in government, and then the Home Secretary will be someone who works below him, right? So at that point, he can't hide behind the judges. Because the judges have said, it's up to the government, it's up to politicians. Keir Starmer is saying now, oh, I don't want it to be up to me, I want it to be up to the judges. Well, they've said it's up to you, right? So you've got to give an answer as to what you would do. Um, Sam, what did you think of that clip? Oh, that was, that was, yeah, I hadn't seen those compared side by side. I mean, looking at that first clip, he looked like he knew what he was talking about. Mm. And I feel as though people really want to be carried by their leaders 
by conviction politicians who speak um, as though they actually know what they're on about. And he did that in the first clip. I don't see how it's damaging um, for him to maintain that line now. Um, it's perfectly plausible for me to to believe that the majority of the people would have believed what he was saying. Yeah, I mean, I agree. he was quite convincing in that first clip. I sort of watched that and thought, yeah, he clearly believes what he's saying. In that second clip, like he clearly didn't. It was clearly him doing politics. Um, and yeah, and misrepresenting what, what the case was, which I thought was... You know, he's, this this guy was a human rights lawyer. Now he's trying to make out that judges are giving much more conservative and much more authoritarian rulings than they in fact are. Like that's precisely the opposite of what his job had been for the first part of his career. So, I mean, you know, flip, he, he flip-flops as a politician. He's flip-flopped in sort of his whole lifespan. 